ओके हेलो एवरीबॉडी आज की लाइव की की मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव शोड अप 28 इज इन गुड अटेंडेंस अम इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द लास्ट लेक्चर वी कैन आस्क और वी विल मूव ऑन टू आवर लेक्चर टुडे व्हिच इज प्रोबेबली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट lectures in this course meanwhile i will also mark your attendance which as you all know do not really matter मोहम्मद अस्लम को भी दफ्तर से आए हैं। हेलो, हेलो, जी जी। सावरिंग सर, सावरिंग को हम जी। सर आप, जीशान सर जी जी जीशान है इधर। ओके क्लास पे। जी जी। और ये सर। एंड एक्चुअली आई वांट टू डिस्कस समथिंग क्या रिकॉर्डिंग माय प्रीवियस क्लास। I was there in previous class but you mark mark me as absent ना। तो प्रॉब्लम I was present in last class, but you mark me. No problem, any no problem, sir. Thank you. I can understand. Do you know why Ruha is laughing? Can anybody Ruha is laughing? Sir, ask to Ruha. No, you you should know why she is laughing. रोजा लग रहा है वो सब शायद आप लोगों को लग रहा है काफी दिनों से सर चार बजे तक तो हमारी ऑफिस टाइम ही है चार बजे से लेके छह बजे तक घर पहुंचने का टाइम है तो डेस्क पे वो मैनेज करना थोड़ा सा मुश्किल हो रहा है उसे पढ़ा अदरवाइज ट्राई करना माइक बंद कर दें और नीचे पढ़ लें ठीक है ठीक है And we upload the last lecture. The last lecture is uploaded. How can it not be uploaded? Yeah. 
cái kế hoạch này đây. Yes, that's why I ask you to subscribe to the channel so that you can you get that notification whenever a lecture is uploaded. It was definitely uploaded on April 29. It has seven views only. So, यहाँ पे लिंक डाल दीजिए तो मैंने सीखा कि भी लिंक नहीं डाला मैंने मैं पता नहीं लिंक नहीं डाला लिंक नहीं डाला है तो वो यूट्यूब जी का लिंक ना आ टेक्स्ट रिडिल लिंक जाहिर आप लोग इतना बहुत मुश्किल काम होता है ना खुद से यूट्यूब पर जाना और क्लिक करना आप लोगों का काम मैंने आसान कर दिया आप लोग क्लिक कर दीजिए ठीक है ओके मैं बिल्कुल स्टार्ट कर लूँ लेकिन लोग अपनी अटेंडेंस से की प्रॉब्लम से बाहर आए तो मैं कुछ काम करती हूँ हर रोज मुझे चार पांच ई मेल आती हैं कि मेरी अटेंडेंस नहीं लगा हुआ चलें तो टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट लैंडिंग थ्योरी तो लैंडिंग थ्योरी व्हाट डज लैंडिंग थ्योरी मीन लैंडिंग थ्योरी मीन द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट हाउ डू वी एक्चुअली लर्न तो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई आर वी Uh, studying how we learn, what is it, how is it good for us? Why do we, uh, why are we talking about this in consumer behavior? So we are talking about this because uh, whenever the, whenever anybody, anybody learns about something, then they form an opinion about that thing, and that opinion leads to having. A certain attitude towards them. For example, uh, when we are looking at uh, a product, uh, let's say we are looking at a product of uh, margarine. 
so if I have learned in through experience or through searching through data or learning from my elders or learning from anybody who has that experience that margarine is not good for health. So that will develop an attitude in myself towards margarine and next time when I will go then probably I will try to go for uh, butter instead of margarine and that will uh, eventually result in uh, changing my behavior, my purchase pattern. So learning is an important thing to understand that how people learn, how can we get them to learn anything about our brand or company or product and how it will help us to influence these people to buy our product or remember it or whatever or share about it. So uh, the first uh, theory, there are put in all uh, six learning theories. Uh, the first learning theory is, uh, is called classical conditioning. So when we are talking about classical conditioning, uh, let me share you with you a uh, an image. So can you see this? Yes, sir. Brother Ara. Yes, sir. So in classical conditioning, this was an experiment conducted by a scientist called Pavlo. And what he did is that he gave meat to, uh, or you can say, bone to uh, a dog. And when uh, the dog saw this uh, bone or meat, the, then saliva came out of his, on, on his tongue, appeared on his tongue. So food is an unconditioned stimulus, which means it is there um, uh, hard coded in the dog's uh, genetics that whenever uh, he will see food, then he will salivate, and that is the unconditioned response. Now, if there is a bell and we ring that bell, then we are uh, not aware, then that dog is not going to respond to that bell in a particular matter because the bell is just something out of his uh, genetics. And then we see that if we pair this bell and this bone together, whenever this bone is presented to this dog, then uh, uh, this uh, bone is all, uh, bell is also rang at the same, same time. So we see that the saliva appears. So after a while, after this has been done for quite some time, many times over, then we see that when the bell rang, then the dog knew that since every time the bell rings, I am given meat. So if this bell is ringing, then I must be, uh, give, uh, I, it must be time for my meat. So it, the dog starts to salivate. Now this actually tells us about something about constant pairing. The keyword is constant pairing. Whenever we are uh, constantly pairing two things together, then slowly the response then, uh, that is uh, naturally occurring, occurring for one thing will also occur for the other thing. So that is called classical condition. Okay, now let's look at some examples. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
let's uh, I'll just type it here so that. Sir, can I give an example? Yeah, I'm giving you an example. Sir, आपकी आवाज़ बंद हो गई है फिर से. आपकी आवाज़ नहीं आ रही. अभी क्या किया यू फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल? Yes, sir, आपकी आवाज़ नहीं आ रही. अब आरी आवाज़. ठीक है, तो आएगी आवाज़ ना. जी सर, आ रहा है. Can I give an example, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, you pair two things together. Constant pairing of two things. Will result in the same thing. When we recall one thing, then the other will also be there. A typical example of a campaign is "daan to achhe hote hain." So "daan," the word "daan" is, is constantly conditioned, uh, paired with the uh, perfect. So whenever we heard the word here, the word "daan," it is now in very close vicinity in our. Uh, associated network memory model because it has been paired so many times with the with perfect cell. So whenever we hear the word "dal," we will also uh, recall perfect cell. Acha, there there is another way that we can use this, and uh, it's pretty easy. The one of the easiest ways to use class is uh, use the learning theory is the classical condition. For example, we have some templates. Uh, I'll give you a template so you can fill it yourself. The template is this. I've typed it here. So, for example, अब वहाँ एक भी है. Yeah. तो जहाँ ममता वहाँ डाटा जहाँ ख्वाब वहाँ जहाँ पेप्सी वहाँ म्यूजिक वेरी वेरी इजी कुछ काइंड ऑफ क्लासिकल कंडीशन तो uh, इसी तरह से आ, होता है एक और कंप्लेट है बहुत ही सिंपल टेप्लेट डैश शीन डैश डैश मतलब है अब इसके अंदर ठंडा मतलब को होता है तो वी पेयर दीज टू थिंग्स together and whenever we are just constantly pairing the the whole idea is to actually uh search for the keyword that is going to be beneficial for you for example for coca cola the best keyword was thanda because thanda is a dictionary meaning so it has no copyright but at the same time thanda is a word that is very conventionally used टू रिप्रेजेंट सॉफ्टवेयर तो हम जैसे हम पूछते हैं कि आप क्या लेंगे मेहमानों से पूछते चाय या ठंडा तो हम ये नहीं कहते चाय या कोल्ड ड्रिंक या चाय या ब्रांड का नाम तो एक तरफ तो हम प्रोडक्ट का नाम लेते हैं दूसरी तरफ उसकी टेम्परेचर बता रहे हैं चाय या ठंडा हम ये भी नहीं कहते कि आप गर्म या ठंडा लेंगे क्योंकि गर्म मीन चाय बाई डिफॉल्ट हाँ अगर आ, बहुत सब सर्दी हो तो फिर हम पूछ सकते हैं चाय या कॉफी बट अदरवाइज भी चाय या ठंडा तो तो वेन एवर दिस दिस एक्चुअली द कोक दे रिसर्च ऑन दिस एंड दे फाउंड दैट दिस वर्ड इज वेरी Uh, frequently used and therefore they should use this in their campaign and their and so they do they do. Uh, and uh, you can see that there are many actually uh, classically conditioned brands. For example, Seven Up is classically conditioned with food, food and Seven Up again and again they keep on appearing with each other. So you have a 
So then you will, uh, if anybody asks who, which folding you would like to have during dinner or lunch, then you are very likely to say that. Yes, you are a black and white. Hmm. Black and white can also be used, but uh, but the, the point is to have a keyword. That keyword should be constantly paired. That is the idea. Achha. So that's called classical condition. Okay. Uh, let's move on and I'll show you another picture of the next learning theory. So this experiment was done by Kina. And uh, you can see in this there is a, a chamber in which there is a rat who is taught to pull a lever. Now how is that is that rat taught? to pull a lever. So, uh, how does this happen? When uh, the rat is awarded with food when he presses the lever. Also, the rat is able to turn off the electric shock produced by the floor by pressing the lever. So, the lever is at giving him food and also the liver is uh, protecting him from the shock on the electric floor. So slowly the rat learns that this is giving me food which is a positive reinforcement and it is also helping me to uh, save myself from a uh, from pain which is a negative reinforcement. So posit there are two things here. Positive reinforcement means that you say that when you do this, then you will get this, which is good. You will get something good. Negative reinforcement means that if you do this, then you will be able to save yourself from uh, these things. So uh, that's called negative reinforcement. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I'll give you an example. So, can you see this? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Get 
भूल नहीं हर घर की मलबारी इसमें संभाल इसको और ऊंचा कर और घर के बाहर इस मुदाजी नेमत को बहना चाहिए अच्छा शुभकार इसीलिए वो मन हर जिला शुभकार से भरा तेरी वो मन कुदरत का शुभकार ओके So, uh, can you tell me which part was positive reinforcement and which one negative? So, the design offered. No, no. In the in the in the uh, the word "tedi roman," in the first part, he had showed that they were uh, getting nutrition from it, or they were putting different things in it. and that is able to increase the nutrition so it is very good for them in in the last part it was shown that they they showed a regular gawala out there with selling fresh milk and then they said that this uh, they you should avoid this fresh milk if you want to keep healthy so that that was negative reinforcement okay negative reinforcement is when you avoid something to uh, to be on on the better side now the keyword for instrumental conditioning is uh, cause and effect which means that there is a cause and there is an effect so if you do this then you get this so if you have this product then you will get now this can happen in many different ways for example the state of mind or the emotion can move from a negative side to a neutral side for example if i say that if you have a headache and you take panadol then what will happen the head will headache will go that's it it's not like if i have a headache and i take panadol then i will become really active no but in case of an energy drink you might show that a person is feeling very low and as soon as uh, this person had this energy drink he became hyperactive so from a negative state to a positive state so it's possible to show Yourself as uh, positive state from negative to neutral or negative to positive. Also, you can show from neutral to positive. For example, you show that if you uh, uh, there are certain things like uh, there are certain kinds of promotions. if you take this promotion today then you will you might get a surprise you might get this additional discount on this thing. like these telecom people they uh, they have these advertisements about if you uh, uh, top up your card today then you get 100 minutes for free so it's kind of a neutral to positive yeah uh, ruha is now my official uh, transcriber um and then we have uh, the last thing we have positive to more positive now how is that what kind of a thing would need more positivity if you are already positive why would you want to have something now here is an example if i say that in a celebration if you have ice cream it's even better you will really enjoy it but, but you don't obviously have ice cream when you are sad or depressed i don't think so maybe you do sometimes but 
most of the time you would like to have ice cream or chocolate when you are happy and then you are even more happy so that the kind of thing that uh, that that is from positive to even more positive so all of these things can be done in a positive reinforcement way or a negative reinforcement way. but it will uh, help you to understand that let's see if i have any sir negative negative reinforcement to another job and abhi matlab aapko is ke ko aapko bataane sir negative reinforcement means that you say that if you want something good to happen then you should avoid doing this you are stopping something from happening so that the outcome is good for example if i say that if you want to be healthy then you should not have fried uh, food excuse me sir excuse me sir maslo theory bhi isi pe dependent hai जैसे एक बंदे के पास गाड़ी होती है तो उस और अच्छी करने की कोशिश करता है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल उसके पास मैदान है तो बाद में वो ट्राई आउट करता है कि करोला या उससे बड़ी चीज आ जाए नहीं दैट नॉट रिलेटेड यू टॉक अबाउट दिस दैट समथिंग इट्स नॉट कार इज नॉट समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू चेंज योर मूड इट इज समथिंग मोर ऑफ अन इट नॉट री इन्फोर्समेंट if you get this then we will get this it might be possible for some kinds of cars like maybe uh status oriented cars that if you buy a prado then you will be respected by people uh that kind of thing but uh, usually cars cannot be uh, easily put in in this in this scenario and it's not related to most of so Uh, learning in learning we understand that people will learn then they will see that what we do has a positive real response and we should not do this because it has a negative outcome and so we are supposed to tell them that they should, what they should avoid in order to in order to avoid negative outcome so many times this happens that instead of actually promoting our product we tell them that you should not buy the other thing for example kn is is uh, focuses on safe and healthy vegan and it actually indirectly tells you how the others are selling their chicken so uh, it it will say that it is free from antibiotics so you should avoid the kind of chicken that has antibiotics or those kinds of things so that's called uh instrumental conditioning okay um so this this can be an example okay so this can be an example one shade whiter teeth in one week so it is a kind of positive reinforcement instrumental conditioning it says that if you use this then you will have whiter teeth and then it So you are scared, uh, basically scared that tells you how white your teeth are. So that's an example of instrumental conditioning. Okay.
So next is uh, the the simplest one, the simplest of all the learning theories is uh, reasoning. Reasoning means that you give a reason for something, a fact, a figure, a statistic, uh, some kind of proof or a claim that tells you that this is true. Uh, in parent level, I don't know what would they say in parent level. Sir, they are also mentioning that uh, the time phase of the period, like using a uh, parent of the U will like get, getting fair in this history, like they are also giving the <coughs> that simply they are also giving condition. If you use yes, sir. then you get fair. Reasoning is okay, sir. you are giving a reason how, why this, is, this will work. For example, if I say that this car is the fastest car in the world because it has this many species of engine. So the keyword is because. If I say that Pantene is good for your hair because it has the power of oil. Sunsilk is good for your hair because it has uh, essence of egg. Uh, Magnum is a premium chocolate because the chocolate that is poured on it is Belgian. So when you are using the because, when you are giving a reason, then it is called reasoning simply. So you use reasoning only when you have some reason. Obviously you cannot use reason in products like Pepsi and Coke and say that you should drink Pepsi because it has lots of sugar. You should have Coke because it has lots of carbon. So we cannot say these words but therefore uh, such products will always avoid reasoning. But those products that have something yeah, Nestle and Nestle is good for good because it has cal high calcium and interestingly this reasoning can be used with some kind of branding like they say Kelsey Lock. So it appears in our mind that Kelsey Lock will be really something good. Now if you even if you have a microscope you will not be able to find these locks in the milk I'm sure. But Still we, uh, we, we do this and it works actually. Uh, in such products, if, if we have some very difficult words, we use these difficult words and people get impressed that this must be really good, must be really something technical. Like uh, if you have, if you have uh, uh, 15 Cyrillac, then Cyrillac has bifida. So, Cyrillax bifidus is going to help the child grow. Now, how many mothers who give their children Cyrillax, then uh, they they go and search for what bifidus means and if it is really good for their children and how can we be sure if it really has bifidus? So, um, or they, or these um, antibacterial uh, sources, they say this has, this product has this and this and this. Yeah, omega-3 in oil. So, um, uh, how do we really know if this has omega-3? So, we do believe them because they say it is so, so we believe them. And they say when they are pouring cooking oil in the, from the container in the pan and this, this omega-3 also gets poured in. You see that omega-3 is going inside and so we said definitely this is now very healthy. So uh, this is uh, how uh, the uh, branding or in marketing and advertising we use reasoning to tell these people. Next we have 
modeling. So, uh, what does modeling mean? Now, modeling usually uh, means to model something means to demonstrate something. So, if we are demonstrating uh, and I'm going to share and add with you. Yeah. So this is an example. Mama, So you saw that? So uh, what was that? It was uh, taking the power of making time from the mother or the elder to and given to children so that they can make time whenever they want. Right? And they showed them how to do this. So they modeled it for them. Now, modeling is very important, very good because uh, you know that 
uh, it is very good for any product related to children because most of children uh, learn through modeling. But if you if you tell them anything to do, if you have kids at home, uh, anybody's kids at home, then you will know that they will uh, they will not do anything that you tell them to do, but they will certainly do something that you are doing. So uh, so uh, so it is. Always good to model these things. Also, whenever you are uh, coming up with a new product, that is new, that is that that is a new product category. For example, if you remember, uh, a long time back, we only had these soap bars. We did not have these uh, powders. So it was uh, the initial. Uh, uh, Advertisement of these powders actually focused on demonstrating how to use this powder. Uh, because if, we, if people do not really understand how to do it, then they will not buy that product. So they will be actually hesitant in buying something that they can they don't know how to use. So it is very important to model to them how this works. So when smartphones were introduced in the initial advertisement, uh, it was modeled. Even today, it is modeled that how the cell phone is used. We are not just shown that this has these features, but how it is used. Because modeling will tell them that how they are going to use that product. So modeling is very is a is a very interesting and good way to do. It. And uh, then we have uh, iconic uh, growth learning. Uh, iconic growth learning means that uh, road learning per se. Road learning per se is what uh, we do when we are going for the exam. Road learning, ratta. Road learning is what when we are trying to remember something. Road, R O T E road. Road learning. So we are trying to remember something even though we do not understand it. Even though we do not understand it, so that's called growth learning. To try to understand, to remember something that we don't understand. So I give you, I tell you some Russian words, and I ask you to remember them, even though you don't know their meaning. Will be very hard. You will have to keep on repeating them again and again until you just remember them. But still, it will be very hard to to keep on remembering them. So growth learning is difficult. So there is another way to do this, which is through icons. So what we do is that we make some icons, and then we associate them with a certain concept or an action or a product or anything. And that icon is uh, makes you learn those things. Now that, uh, there are two reasons that we do these icons. The one of these reasons we have already discussed when we were studying uh, perception. And that is that some uh, we uh, associate uh, an icon with something, then that icon is there in the mind globally. It doesn't need any language to tell people what it means. For example, if I uh, ask anybody in the world what uh, the how to save uh, a document on Microsoft Word. The answer will be the same. They will know the shortcut, Control plus S. Or if they if, if they are on Microsoft Word, they will they will click that button that looks like a floppy, and that you press it to save your document. Now we know that most of the people who are actually using computers nowadays. I have never actually seen seen a floppy. They've never used a floppy. 
they they want some of them will not even know what a flop is but they will still know that this item means to save so they have wrote and learned it to means of item now there is an example and there is an example that can uh, really tell you how this works now for example i let me try to show you Okay. Okay, I'm going to share my desktop to you. not go go through like that here can you see my desktop yes sir yes here okay so i have clicked on this thing what is this this is a folder any folder right this folder is called string 20 So you know that this is a folder. How? Road learning. Bar bar. बताएंगे ये. Because when you see this yellow color thing, then it tells your mind that because yes, yes, you know this icon as a folder. You know this icon as a word document. You know this. There's the recycle bin. So there is a dustbin. Where is it? It's below. On the first floor. Where is it? The first one. The first one. The very first one. Now, uh, you can see what the name is. Katra. So the name is Katra. Still, you are able to identify it as a recycle bin. Exactly. Oh, because of the icon. So even though. you when you are using your system you are actually not uh, reading the word you are only looking at the icon and operating your computer in that way. in fact uh, uh, in your mobile phone you only have icons you, you don't even have these descriptions on below them till you know what to click and what to tap and what to do If I change the names of these uh, of the recycle bin, you will still get it. But if I change the icon of the recycle bin, then you will not be able to track it. So iconic road learning is when we are using. Just now, let's take this example in in advertising, in in marketing. So what do we do is that we make a symbol. Like a logo or any other symbol. For example, in KFC symbol, KFC has a logo and it also has a symbol of Colonel Sanders, and that is a signature picture of KFC. It's an iconic road learning for you. Whenever do you see that picture, even though KFC is not written, that you will still recall it. So that's called iconic road learning. Okay. The last uh, learning theory. Usually, I take at least two classes for this, but uh, since we are, uh, we just have about two or three classes left in uh, Ramzan, so I'm just going to give this one class. And if we have, uh, we we can talk about this one hour. Uh, regular classes start. So um, the last one is called analogy. Now this is one of my favorite. Now I'm going to give you an example. Write something here at the bottom. 
analysis. So So can you fill this dash for me? So how do you know it's green? So the color of the cucumber is green. So how do you know that I was talking about the color? Because what else we can talk about it? Like I'll give you an example. तो पहले जब आपने जब एप को रेड कलर के साथ एसोसिएट कर दिया जब आप ये कंपन जाएंगे तो उस कलर ही जहन में आएगा कि ग्रीन कलर है अब मैंने लिखा एप इज इक्वल टू टू उसकी कंपन इज मिस लाइक इट नाउ योर आंसर चेंज हाउ इवन दो एक्चुअली क्यू कंबर इज इक्वल टू ब्लैंक वाज द सेम स्टिल द आंसर इज डिफरेंट एनालिजी हाउ so what we do is that we take up something that everybody knows everybody believe nobody has a question about it nobody has a uh, a disagreement on and then we say just like that this is also so for example give me any anything and i'll give you an analogy to compare it with Give me anything like um, a claim of any product. For example, I say um, Nestle juice is pure. Give me any other example. Ah, uh, honey product. What about it? Honey product is That's pure. Uh, is pure. I don't. I cannot recall the name. सलमान हनी इज प्योर सलमान हनी इज प्योर सो इलमान हनी इज प्योर वी हैव टू गिव एन एनालिस सो वट वी डू इज दैट वी कैन डू इट इन मेनी वेज वी कैन यूज इट इन फैक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी से जस्ट लाइक when you pick a flower from your garden it gives you a pure uh, sense of a sense of purity that it is a pure flower a pure uh, essence of nature just like that salman company takes this honey from these honey bees so that it gives you an essence of nature so first we do what we do is that we take something pure we can do this we can we can show a uh, a stream from a mountain it is just like the pure water coming from this stream we are taking this pure honey from this honey bee can or two minute hold we can have an analogy for that let's say what is what can be done in two minutes so what we do is that we think of 10 things we think of five things that can be done in today or that can not be done in today at all possible we can say can you uh run 500 meters in two minutes can you prepare a chicken tikka in two minutes can you bake a cake in two minutes no but you can make noodles in two minutes so it can be done in a negative way it can also be done in a positive way which means you 
compared to things that can be done in two minutes. For example, you can uh, fry an egg in two minutes, and you can also make noodles in two minutes. So you can compare these two things so that it in your it goes into your mind because your mind already knows that you can fry an egg in two minutes. Therefore, you must also be able to make noodles in two minutes. Another interesting way is to compare something. Analogy is very interesting. Now, I'll give you an example of this. Let's say I am talking about the tallest building in the world. Now, which is the tallest tallest building in the world? It is Burj Khalifa. Now, the question is, how long will Burj Khalifa will have this value? How long will people value this? Only until and unless the another and another higher uh, taller uh, uh, building is built. As soon as another taller building is built, you will not give any value to the one that is below it. Right? Now, this means that it's only this has a very limited time value. Now, how can Burj Khalifa? Make sure that it remains in the minds of the people and carries this value even if there is another one that comes up and is taller than it. So I'm going to give you an example. What I do is that I will compare it with something that will not lose its value. Now we know that Mount Everest is the tallest mountain and we know that no mountain is going to grow up and be taller than Mount Everest. So unless Mount Everest breaks down for some reason, it will still be the tallest. So what I do is that I have an analogy. I compare Burj Khalifa as a pyramid as the Mount Everest of building. So even if another building comes up, in our mind the Mount Everest will still be Burj Khalifa. Right? So even if there is anybody who is a great swing baller in in the coming history, still the Sultan of Swing will still be Vasimha. So what we have done is that we have compared to this, uh, two things with an analogy that is bound to be the same. It will not lose its value. But there can be no new Mount Everest. No, not possible. No new Mount Everest is possible. They can do something else. They can do something else, have an analogy but not new Mount Everest because there is only one Mount Everest. Uh, another way to do this is usually when we see that what we do is that we compare these two, uh, we compare a global icon with a local icon. Global icon with a local icon. For example, if I say that Nia Muhammad Manisa is the Bill Gates of Pakistan. So what I've done is that instead of saying the richest man, I'm saying is the Bill Gates of Pakistan. So if um, um, if he doesn't remain the uh, the richest man, still people will still say that it is Bill Gates, which means he must be really rich. That's called analogy. Very strong method, very interesting. You can experiment it in many different ways, and 
uh, in making advertisement. I'm sure to give you some assignment on this uh, learning theory. So um, keep an eye for that. And uh, yeah, exactly. So, um, so that is that is a very strong analogy. These these can be used in many ways. Yeah, I will be right. So uh, we uh, and you get this idea, guys. Uh, I'm I'm sure you guys, uh, some of you may have to pray, and some of you maybe uh, may have to go for prepare for the start. सबको फल काटने हैं, मुख्य पकोड़े लाने हैं, इसी चीजें लानी हैं। ये समझे पकोड़े तो आज कल मिली नहीं रहे हैं, राइट? हाँ, तो मिली रहता है। तो इतना बंद करने हैं। मिल रहे हैं? मैं तो पता नहीं पांच साल से मैंने बंगाली समय को पकड़े हैं। तो एनीवे आप लोग अब जाइए और अपना नमाज पढ़ें, आराम करें, सार बनाएं, सब करें और एसाइनमेंट जरूर देख लीजिएगा और नेक्स्ट वीक में हम इंशाल्लाह टॉपिक करेंगे मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि मैं पहले साल को रीडिंग मटेरियल दे दूं। अगर आप पहले से पढ़ लेंगे तो आपको थोड़ा सा आसान हो जाएगा लेक्चर डिस्कस करना इनफैक्ट हम लेक्चर में डिस्कशन करेंगे बजाय इसके कि मोनोलॉग हो ठीक है तो सही है सी यू गाइस नेक्स्ट ट्यूसडे एंड